Okay, so it is a Wednesday morning in March, very end of March, and I thought I'd show you my garden because I can. I missed it. I've been gone a week and went to LA and wow, there's no place like home when you get back home and you have this beautiful weather and beautiful air. Water here is great. Just so pretty. You can hear the birds. So my backyard has completely morphed into um, California poppies everywhere, as you can see. These weren't planted. These are just growing. And I've got some weeds I'm going to have to pull. I should have made a path, a path, through the California poppies. I wasn't really thinking, but maybe I can still do something of the sort, make some kind of path to walk through. But fruit trees are coming along really nicely. You're looking at a cherry tree right now, four different kinds of cherries. Last year I had two. Looks like this year I should be doing a lot better. Plum tree is going to be massive. That'll probably have the first first of the plums, the first fruit of the year. I've got these oranges over here. Still haven't uh, really liked them, but um, oh well. They give the best flowers. Really, really beautiful smell. Here's my black uh, blueberries. You can see that we're going to have some lots of blueberries. I have two bushes. I'd like to get more because they're so delicious. This is the pink jasmine. This smells amazing. And I have it trailing between the two different pink jasmines. And more oranges, which again, the blossoms are incredible. Some of my favorite smells in the world are orange blossoms. This is apricot, four different kinds. I think we had one fall to the ground last year and didn't get eaten. That's all apricots we've had. I think this is year three. For these fruit trees so I think we're gonna have massive amounts of fruit this this year. The freesias, I did not, that's the yellow flowers you see right there that smell amazing. I didn't divide those up. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, by the time I realized I should probably uh, divide them up and start putting them somewhere else and give them to my friends, they were already getting ready to to bloom so I said oh, I guess that's too late. In the afternoon when the sun comes out even more the California poppies are gonna open up I don't expect everybody to know all about flowers, so at nighttime these close up a little bit and then in the daytime they open up when the sun hits them. And there's Ariadne. Hi Ariadne. Are you in the garden? Each cat has its own zone in the house. I guess they are have to patrol everything, but Ar yeah. Ariadne's zone is the backyard. And she gets so excited when people come out to the backyard. At least people she knows. Here she's eating grass probably so she can barf it up later for me but the poppies you can see where the sunshine is shining on them they are blooming I mean not blooming but open and that, I mean I absolutely love California poppies but I'd like to have more cut flowers because you can't cut a California poppy necessarily and bring it in the house and expect it to do anything it's just gonna wilt up on you so um, I, freesias I've been I brought a bunch of freesias in last night and I have a few other things I have a couple hyacinths that smell amazing and I brought them, I planted them here in the backyard. Let's see if I can get a closer up picture of them. And um, they sort of bloomed and then that was the end of that. I should have really put them in a pot and brought them into the house so you could smell them. I mean, just, it smells amazing out here right now. I just, you just can't imagine how, how beautiful it smells. And you can hear the birds, hear an owl, hoo hoo. You hear the chirping. Over here is my Cecile Broomer roses that climbs right into this bush of this neighbor's. So it'll go way up to the top and we'll have pink flowers all over. And my star jasmine has not bloomed yet. It's still a little early for it. When it blooms, again, you get a whole rush of smells that are so amazing out here. So the pink jasmine and the star jasmine bloom at different times of the year, which is great because then you have um, the beautiful smells way past the time. Um, I still haven't got a female kiwi. Every time I've got a female ki kiwi, the, it dies. The male is just supposed to be here to pollinate it. And this is my, my backyard where I'm going to start having, you know, bring out my laptop and, and um, some lunch and breakfast and dinner and have out here where I keep my pool table that's being fixed right now. I'm having new rubber bumpers put on it. 
and this is my Concord grape that gets massive and it's still it's blooming we should have some good grapes on it now that we had some great wet, wet winter and it just grows incredibly beautiful just conquered grapes sweet as you can imagine make jelly if you wanted to probably make some wine if you wanted to out of it but we just eat it right off the vines until we're sick <laughs> have people come over and and have my grapes and then this over here is a peach tree peach tree did absolutely nothing yes last year I think we had two start and then just kind of didn't go very far you know of course we've been in California here we have a lot of weather problems I'm in Salinas California which is mild it's really close to the ocean I'm in 15-20 minutes away from the ocean so the weather here is very mild we have really don't have extreme weather and um, because we're in a valley of sorts the air quality is incredible here too the way just the way the um, it's set up and then I use I compost and if you look at my videos you'll see me showing you how to compost so our soil here is incredible too well it's incredible here just because it's incredible but I also compost all my own um, all the vegetables eggshells you know tea bags everything Ariadne so this is the newest video showing you what's going on in my garden. Of course, I'm keeping these videos more for myself so I can look at them in the winter and say, oh man, look how amazing. It looks so beautiful. Because in the winter, of course, it's nothing like this. <laughs> it's not pretty at all. Looks like we're going to have some, a lot of purple flowers coming in here over here. I'm going to see if I get my shadow out of the way. I can't think what this is called. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Um... But this is a beautiful purple flower that I use in cut cuttings a lot. And more star jasmine here and here. And again, like I said, it's really, really mature. So it's going to grow like crazy. So it's 9.30 in the morning here. I need to go get my breakfast. I just came back from a nice walk. A couple miles. Around the block, around the block, around the block, around my um, cart. Uh, there's a... Uh, junior college nearby so I walk the whole thing so all right you guys keep up the good work and get yourself some get your garden going too even if it's just a little tiny patio or a couple pots in the in the wind window just you know growing things make me so happy <laughs>